Hey guys, it's D-Money Bala. We're going through this uh, coronavirus and we're all locked up on quarantine. I figured, what, do, what does everybody have? We've got Chromebooks at home. Kids are out of school. We've all got Chromebooks. What do you want to do with them? Well, we could do a fun video editing project. And so that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to be doing some video editing on my personal Chromebook. It's a little 6-core ARM-based processor. And we're going to see how well it can do with some 1080p footage at 30 FPS. You don't really want to go way over 30 FPS because that's going to be really hard for your Chromebook to process. We're going to be using a video editor called Kaden Live. Any other video editors you install, like I've heard Pativi is really good. The support of Linux on a Chromebook means that you can install a lot more video editors than just with the Android apps. The Android app video editors, from what I've seen, it's really, um, it's more like phone video editing. It thinks you're on a phone rather than on a laptop thing. So I think the best video editor we're going to get is probably Kaden Live. It's got a lot of good reviews on the Linux um, store, and we're going to be playing around with that. I haven't really used it too much, but it shouldn't be too hard to figure out, and we've got nothing but time. We're locked up, so let's do it. All right, so here we are. We've got Kaden Live open. Um, it's a Linux application, so I just came down to the terminal, and I typed Kaden Live in after installing it, and it opens up this application. I've used this button to import the clips that I want. Um, you can make this bigger if you want. We're going to use the preview here to mark an end to this video clip. We're going to hit play. See where I start talking. It's got some choppy playback. It's not the smoothest, but it is 1080p video. So we're going to go to right here, right where I start talking. We're going to hit I to mark an endpoint, and then we're going to go over here. We're going to mark an out with O. And then we're just going to drag it, drag the clip down into our timeline. Boom. We're going to be so yeah it does play back footage it does take a while to to edit on uh, we've got audio um, distortions we can do um, artistic things um, so we can cut pieces out of it. Let's cut here to here. So there's a big lull in the time zone, and then we're going to go to tool, selection tool. We're going to do this, delete. We're going to pull this guy over. You know, do regular video editing stuff. And you know, that looks pretty good. We've got a little over a minute of footage here. This is just a proof of concept, nothing really crazy. So now we can render to for MP4. We're going to call it test. Tested MP4. And we have rendered a file. And let's, I haven't tried this. We're going to see how the Chromebook handles it. So it's going to take about six minutes. So we can come to where we saved our video file and we can look at it. It was 31.8 megabytes. Just open it up and we're going to see how fast it, it plays back just fine. We can skip around in it. And you're ready to upload your video to YouTube. And people are home now so you'll probably get a lot more views on it so that's a plus the performance may vary depending on your uh, Chromebook if you've got a Chromebook with a much more powerful processor video editing is going to be more doable I've got a Chromebook that has one of the lower-end processors it's an ARM based chip so 
that has a different instruction set than an Intel or an AMD chip will. It can be really slow um, and there's no active cooling on it so you know it can only do as much as it can but in the end it was able to render that one minute clip in about eight minutes. It is doable if you're patient so if you've got a more powerful Chromebook let me know how fast it can edit videos in the comments below. I hope this video has helped you with um, video editing in general, especially with the Chromebook. Uh, you can do it on low-end hardware such as this. And I'm really glad that you have watched this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.